Hey everyone, this is Notzer, and today we're taking a look at the Tier 9 French battleship Jean Bar. This is, of course, no longer available. You can't buy it, uh, but it was a fantastic Tier 9 premium that creates a huge amount of credits for players who understand how to take advantage of it. Uh, as far as my build is concerned, it's the same build that I've been converted to for a while now. Fast turret traverse, fast rudder shift, uh, better tank ability with fire prevention and concealment, preventative maintenance. All that coupled together creates this really resilient battleship that I can throw at anything. And uh, I love this build, and that's primarily why. I don't feel like I'm in a, um, a dangerous position when I'm capable of doing the things that need to be done in the shortest amount of time. And that's why Turreturers, Rudder Shift, all that combined together ends up giving you the best possible play available, I find, most times when throwing off shots. And uh, we're definitely going to have opportunities here. Uh, obviously, the first target that we see is the enemy battleship that is setting up a little bit outside of A point. I'm a French battleship, so I have 32 millimeters all the way around this ship. And the Musashi can overmatch all that 32 millimeters. So I don't want to openly fire without first understanding what I'm openly firing for. And immediately when we fire our guns, we're spotted. And we're spotted by the Baltimore. And oh, look, the Baltimore. Uh, I decided to use my main battery reload to hopefully get a cheeky shot. Uh, unfortunately, it was going to be an HE layered shot, so we don't actually have AP for this salvo, and that's a big miss. And if it was AP, maybe it kills him. Uh, and we miss the window to actually engage him because of that. And, uh wish I could have gotten that back. That's all I got to say. I wish I would have had AP loaded for that broadside shot on the ball tee. If we had AP loaded, and yeah, we're taking front damage from the Musashi. But because of the position that the ship is located in, I actually have my gun turrets protecting most of the vulnerable deck armor that he could punish. So this is not the worst thing, uh, but if he gets a little bit closer, he can locate his shells and accurately hit that 32 millimeter, which is, you know, like paper thin for his 460s. That's what I want to avoid in. Teammates, take out the Balti, which is great. Uh, but we're not getting a lot done. You know, it's a one-to-one -one trade. Enemies capturing C point. You can clearly see that the C area is being overrun. So we have to try and make a play. And there's two DDs. One's probably responsible for capturing C point. But the other one's last known position was somewhere between B and A. He could literally be sailing right into the area that I'm sailing into, so I have to be very careful. Now, the aircraft carrier being there does help. You know, he keeps it where I don't feel completely on an island. <laughs> but we're still vulnerable if the enemy DD chose the right position to sit himself in. Not necessarily the, the position that he last known spotted in. So, you know, I'm approaching very cautiously, but I really want to try and speed up this portion. Uh, one thing that I will absolutely talk about, when you are on the weak flank, you can't just sit there and allow the enemy team to not do anything on that flank. You have to go out there and find something. Now, enemy Shimakaze shows up in the middle of B point. I am confirming the look off of the Dunskoy. Also, very, very, very aware of the Musashi. If I give him too much side, he can punish it. But one thing that's nice about French battleships, they are very hard to citadel. So even if I give him a broadside, it's equivalent to like a German. So I have very manageable tankiness that outside of HE is very stout. The HE is, of course, the issue. But nothing that we're going up against we really have to worry about. I mean, the Dunskoy, yeah, okay. He has to spec an IFHE. If he does that, well, he's not really in a position to openly fire. So I'm not too worried. Uh, the enemy Shima drops off in his smoke. Lose that opportunity. We also lose a friendly Holland. So we're down to one DD. And the enemy has two. 
So I've got to really focus on potentially getting the Musashi out of the fight without doing too much damage and maybe transitioning to the Dimitri Dunn score. Uh, our team does, however, capture A point, which is great. Uh, enemy team still has B and, uh, I mean, enemy team has C. B is contested. And uh, the one player that could contest is actually leaving B point. So the enemy should eventually capture it. And uh, yeah, we're inching ourselves very, very carefully, uh, aiming at the back of a ship. And of course, he has just a little bit too much angle. The combo of his ship's actual angle and the angle of that piece of geometry on him, it causes the ricochet. And I don't feel happy about that. And you can see his guns, they just fired forward. But I'm able to locate my shells rather effectively into the superstructure. And it works out very well. I immediately switch to HE, and I'm looking to locate my shells on the bow armor and maybe cause a fire. We don't. Uh, I am looking at the Dunskoy. Secondaries are going off. I, I don't want his torpedoes to threaten me. And there is torpedo squadrons incoming. So I'm just going to turn towards the squadron and turn towards the Dunskoy. Uh, while keeping our HE guns pointed forward, notice the enemy Musashi. He's not looking at us. So we're actually, we're pretty good, and, oh, that HE does not do as much damage, and, oh, no, 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 no. Someone kill the Musashi. Please kill the Musashi. Please, before he kills me. Oh. Of course he gets a shot off, but he doesn't get everything off, and he's dead. So, I'm happy. It could have been worse. Could have been a lot worse. Uh, Dunskoy can't keep up with the speed. Uh, definitely keep moving forward. Uh... Don't be one of these people that sit there and dawdle, and we get a really cheeky snapshot on that enemy DD as he's rounding the corner. I think that's going to lead to his demise. Um, I don't obviously have my main battery reload available, but we did use our heal, and I am pushing towards him. I won't have an easy spot, and yep, first enemy torpedoes from the Shima. We can confirm. If he can get spotted, that would be great. Unfortunately, the enemy battleship incapacitates my guns. I decide right then and there, use damage control to bring it back online because it's much easier to guarantee a kill with two guns versus one. That's what I wanted to make sure. Getting the Shima dead is a big pickup. You don't know how many opportunities you'll have to take out a DD and lacking a DD. And you know, did you see how low our friendly DD is? He's barely alive. Every chance we get, we need to kill a DD. But we do have the broadside Henri, locate the shells down, and he does a good job of maneuvering. But we do a good job of at least getting damage that sticks to him. While taking broadside from the GK. So my decision is to use my speed to reposition myself to the opposite side of this island and tuck inside that island while capturing B. I should be able to address the enemy one at a time and not have to have four or five of them capable of shooting me. This is still a really close game and we haven't done anything. So you're like, well, not so this doesn't really look that impressive, right? Well, you're right. It doesn't look impressive. Clearly, something's going to work out for us. So as we're rounding this, we're preparing for the inevitable and it, of course, is a DD. And right then, I decide, main battery reload this guy, switch to HE, and we're going to go to town. We need to get him killed. He tries to use his smoke, which may be enough. We're going to fire at the last known position. And we do land four shells on him, but it's not enough to kill him. And he is trying to fire on us. So I'm going to try and gauge based on his last shot pattern where he actually is. And we actually found him! That was a huge, huge blind shot. That was everything that we needed. We don't want to die to the torpedoes. The torpedoes are always a threat. Good, good, good. Now we are in a position of power because we can capture this base. The lion is separated from his teammates because the island is blocking all of their crossfire opportunities on my ship. Meanwhile, we got full broadside, so I feel pretty good about this. We're just going to sit here, broadside this guy, and try and capture this base. He either shoots at us to disrupt the capture, or he ignores us to fire on someone who's lower health. And a nice, juicy broadside, 16,000. Yep, yeah, he's going to fire on someone else It's lower health, so we're going to capture the base. Unfortunately, the Amato does die for that, 
but we captured the base. So all we have to do is get a kill on the lion, and effectively, we would have had a win with that trade. And teammates do a good job. Is he burning down? Oh, it does look like he's trying to heal. So because he's trying to heal, I take the opportunity to take the shot. Friendly Cleveland is there to finish him off. And unfortunately, <laughs> the Friendly Cleveland is there to get finished off too. So I make the choice to just push. Uh, there's enough friendlies alive, enemies that are dead, that there's not many potential threats at this exact moment. And if I can keep the Cleveland up by overwhelming this target, maybe that makes it easier later on in this game to take out a target. You never know until you try. Unfortunately, the GK is successful in wiping him out. And now we've got not one, not two battleships, uh, but we also have a third ship. But what is this guy doing? And I feel like the biggest dope ever. I was switching to HE, expecting a bow position, but clearly he gave a full broadside. So we had to immediately switch. Should be, oh, an easy kill. Very nearly an easy kill. We do get a secondary that lights the target on fire, which is good. And I'm going to try and make use of this one last salvo against this cruiser. Now, this cruiser, he's not going to enjoy my battleship guns. Yeah. He can't really angle against that. So all we have to do is not die horribly to anything other than this target. And we should very easily be able to burn him down with AP. Uh, so I'm just going to locate the shells basically where he's sailing and down. And we do get a citadel front. Always love the front no citadel. It's actually even more spectacular against a battleship. Uh, he's going to try a broadside. We've got four, three, two, one. We should be able to fire before he drops off. We do it half a second before. And that's all we needed. That half a second to get that shot off and knock him out. Deny him that smoke. I didn't have a way of spotting him, so if you would have gotten inside of that smoke, I would have been kind of on an island. But we finished him quickly, and I can easily use my momentum, because I'm French, to sail right on through and go after this next target. The GK was picking on me earlier in the game, so I want to pick back on him. I want your broadside, Mr. German. Give it to me. Oh, and he's rocking that black, red, and white camo. Oh, yeah. Let's uh, let's scuff that up a little bit. So he, of course, broadside. Locate my shells at the top of the hull. Because plus or minus, I get the superstructure and the bottom of the hull. I'm not going for citadels. I'm going for the most average damage per salvo. That's why you see my me with my shot location. Uh, going for the water kind of leads you to losing out on a couple shells that maybe would have contributed a little bit extra damage. Clearly, we're doing great. He is worth the main battery reload to knock out. And again, locate those shells. One, two, three. Did about 30,000 30, damage in that broadside. And um, yeah, we came back. We got their broadside. It was pretty easy. But we gave ourselves the best chance to succeed based on where we sailed. And I'm really proud of that. And I'm also really proud to be that helpful to my team. 175,000 damage done. Four kills. I'm looking for that fifth one. Crack it on leash. Come on. We did earn Confederate. And yeah, clearly, clearly the JB works very well. And, you know, I can see the comments already. Uh, they show too much broadside to you, not, sir. What's the deal? You can't angle against every threat. You have to choose. If every threat comes from one direction, it's much easier to angle against every uh, target that might fire on you. But if you get a crossfire position, or a teammate does, you have to then, the target that you're shooting at has to decide. Am I gonna give too much broadside to this battleship or this cruiser or this DD or whatever? That's a really tough choice. There's not, a, there's not a perfect choice there, right? So that's what you really need to try and take advantage of. Finding those opportunities where the enemy cannot possibly angle against every single threat. And then just rush them down as fast as possible. Uh, because your teammates will need you somewhere on the map. And ah, that's Shokaku. 
I expected him to move a little bit faster than that. Only got three over pen. Uh, but that's okay. Friendlies are keeping him spotted, so we got our guns ready to go once again. I do decide to draw it in for fear that I did overshoot. Um, I was a little afraid that I was about to overshoot again, but no, no, no. We did uh, 13,000 damage on a broadside. Not bad. Main battery reload would be great here. But this is another aspect of this. Don't, don't be greedy with main battery reload. If you get an opportunity to knock a target out, that is worth using main battery reload over. Uh, you not necessarily need it to knock a target out, but if you can knock a threat out, you should do it. And you should invest that main battery, especially when given a chance to keep another target alive on your team in that window that main battery would actually benefit. That's where the French have sort of the great equalizer um, in their damage output. That main battery reload is legit. And honestly, I can't wait for a potential battleship line to eventually come to the game and, ah, oh, come on, Shokaku. All I want to do is kill you so I can get Kraken unleashed, please. Obviously, he's not going to give it. And he shouldn't. You should earn your Krakens because that means that you actually deserve it. And, uh, he's not going to give me it. I don't blame him. You know, this was a game that was actually close, and then it was not. And it came all down to the targets that were taken out, they contributed a lot more than the opponent's ability to take our targets out. So I was really happy. Obviously, winning is always satisfying. But to win this good, yeah. We shot down 44 aircraft, Confederate, high caliber, 3,000. 370 base XP, oh yeah, and uh, a easily a thousand base XP higher than anyone on my team, and double the enemy, so clearly we contributed a lot to this game, and you know what, it felt really great to do it. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to check out more of my content, you can click the most recent or the most relevant uploads. You could also choose to subscribe to my channel. We do daily World of Warship videos, first impression, how-to, news, and review related. My North American recruit invite is on the screen. You can take advantage of that. I stream at twitch.tv slash Thank you, have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you next time.